Happy magic everybody. It is Mystic here with your next video featuring Calico here. I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second about what you guys are about to see. What you guys are about to see is a very special thing that happened to both me and Calico here. You can thank me. Thanks to Calico, yes. Um, this is being recorded, and the events that you're, we're about to talk about has taken place April 2nd. Um, so I'm not sure when this will be up, but I just wanted to clarify the date. Um, well, to start off, there is a band that we have talked about some that's known as Steam Power Giraffe here on the channel. There is another band that is very similar to them by the name of The Cog is Dead. The lead singer of that is John Sprocket, which we are both friends with on Facebook, um, but that's besides the point. Needless to say, John has a friend that is uh, uh, that does a podcast um, that is called Madam... What? Madam... Perry's Salon. Madam Perry's She's super Salon. Cool. I just met her, but She's super cool. She's very cool, yeah. I like her. She's but my new mom. <laughs> Madam Perry's Salon. And uh, she interviews, uh, basically it's kind of like an interview thing, uh, where she interviews people from time to time and does like a little talk show where you can call in and uh, have guests ask questions to uh, the star that is on the show. We heard rumor about this, and she looked into ah. it. I and was scrolling on Facebook. we called in. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we got to be the first to talk. Um, uh, we was using Calico's phone, mm -hmm. and we both uh, spoke with uh, during and uh, during the uh, podcast. I don't think it happened the way it was supposed to happen, but it happened. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> happened. Technical difficulties, but hey, technical difficulties got us in there, good. Really yeah, good. <laughs> there was some technical difficulties and stuff, but we had a blast with so, what happened. So uh, we reached out to. Uh, um, uh, my mind's not working right. What's her name again? Uh, I think it's Jennifer. Jennifer, uh, she's on Facebook. We reached out to her. Um, definitely go check out uh, Madame Perry's um, salon on Facebook and go check out The Cog is Dead if you're not familiar. The link um, to her thing, which is like blog talk radio, I think, will be in the description so you can go check her out. She's cool. Yes. But uh, with that being said, I want to also uh, put this little disclaimer here for a second and let you guys know that I do not own the song that John sings in this. That is completely his song. The audio that is in this, it's taken specifically from the podcast that happened with mm -hmm. um, Madam Perry, we'll it's call her. It's just cut down to our parts, basically. It's cut down to our parts. I didn't really want to use all of the audio and it's stuff. It's like an hour. <laughs> because it's it's not mine. It's an hour long, and it's not my audio to use. So I just decided to, to cut it down. Uh, we have... She cut it down. She cut it. I she cut, cut it. it down for me. I cut it down. But and you I guys, added some super cool stuff that I hope John doesn't get mad at me about. But you guys definitely enjoy what you're about to witness. Something that happened to us that we were not expecting, that we enjoyed. So sit tight. Take a look at this water as the transition goes over, and listen closely and enjoy. The sounds of the ocean. No, not the sounds of the ocean, the, the podcast. Oh, yeah. Okay, right now, I don't know if anyone can hear me. Hi, are you there? Somebody mm -hmm. calling from 864? Yeah, I can hear who you. Is this? Oh, Callie. Hey, who is this? Hi. Who? My name is Callie. <laughs> Callie. Oh, okay, Callie. I'm sorry. I thought, oh, all these numbers get me all confused. And, you know, if, 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 <laughs> is this your first time here in the Genie Bottle? Yes. Well, no wonder. It's a little dim here. I couldn't really make you out behind the beaded curtains. I'm so sorry. Would you mind coming in and just taking a comfortable cushion to sit on? Yeah, sure. Is it okay if uh, my fiancé joins me? Yeah, I'd like to. Of course. Is, is he well-trained? Are you? I can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. Don't be too well trained now. And your name, sir, is? Joshua. 
Joshua, Joshua and Kelly. Welcome to Madam Perry's Salon. Get some cushy places to sit. I don't know if you brought any snacks. If you do, I hope you got enough to uh, share. So uh, <laughs> are you fans of Captain John Sprocket and the Cog is Dead? Big fans. Big fans of both him and a band that is very similar to his with Steam Power Giraffe. So, yes. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Would you guys by any chance at, at, at Wild West Con this year? Unfortunately not. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Too bad. That was a, a great show. Well, let's see. I think, like I said, you know, I don't know a lot about airships and stuff, right? And uh, so let me see. If um, have you have you ever been to Wild West Con? No. Sadly. No. Okay. Where do you live? We live in South Carolina. I'm from Oklahoma. But she lives she lives in South Carolina too though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got I got people in in uh in South Carolina. I'm not sure if I've got maybe steampunk friends in Oklahoma. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's see if we can get the mighty airship Captain John Sprocket in. And thank you so much for being here to make him feel very welcome. Is the sound coming through all right? Can you hear me okay? Or are we are we having more issues? I believe you may have muted yourself. I can't hear a thing on my end. Doggone it, you're a damn genius as well as a captain. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Just get some soapy water now and lather up your hands. But it's not going to that long. You won't delay your plan. Just let that toilet steam and then your hands should now be clean. It's all it takes to help yourself. Family and your um, I also want to say, Callie and Joshua, uh, big fans of yours. I know you've got a question for Captain Sprocket, mm-hmm. and I know that you also know that he's got the, the new album, Cog is Dead. It's called Songs of the People. It's going to be out this fall. Well, actually, October it came 22nd. out already. It came oh, out last October. It October. is out okay. already. Hey. So I know they've got all of your albums. Um, and, of course, you've got the live streaming show. But Callie and Josh, comment, question yes. for Captain Sprocket. Yes. Uh, I suppose I'll go first. Um, Captain Sprocket, when does your airship plan to land back at Dragon Con? Maybe after the quarantine stuff. But, uh, yeah. yeah but, but definitely it would have to be after the quarantine. I think it would be uh, safest to wait until then. But uh, I, I'm not sure. I would love for us to return to Dragon Con. Uh, we we don't have anything uh, official or definitive right now, but uh, it's you know always a possibility for the future. Uh, Dragon Con is such a fun event, and uh, it's it's an amazing. They, they, they put on an amazing show. They have such a cool stage, and uh, we've met so many awesome people there. So yeah, if if we get the chance, uh, I would be happy to return to Dragon Con. And and Callie and Joshua, if you go to Dragon Con, you know I'm right here in Atlanta. Please message me after the show so I can make sure I can meet you there too. If you make it to down here to the Big A, the Hot Atlanta, um, of course, yeah. would love to meet you. And so, oh, and Callie, you have a question for John or? Yes. So. From one professional entertainer to the other, um, what advice, like encouraging words, do you have for uh, um, feeling down? Hmm. Down in the uh, the current situation with quarantine, or just feeling down in general? Just feeling down in general, like feeling that you're run out of ideas and stuff. I don't know. It, it depends on, uh, I guess, a few different factors. I know. I know. Sometimes, if I'm having a a point where I really don't have any ideas, I I, I think I was feeling that way around the time of working on uh, the third album, Carnival of Clockwork, uh, because up until then, the songs that I was writing for Kaga's Dead were 
just sort of general steampunk theme that was trying to keep focus on writing everything steampunk, you know, and I was like going through all the different themes that I was used to, like, okay, I've got to have something with airships or something with robots. And I felt like I was just running out of ideas. Um, and then when working on that album, uh, when we came up with the idea of a carnival theme, it was uh, an opportunity to go and explore some new ideas. So that that was sort of a surge of, I guess, uh, inspiration was writing a few things with carnival themes. Uh, but after that, I think even though uh, we're keeping focus on steampunk themes, uh, I'm trying to just be a little bit more open to uh, whatever inspiration strikes. And if it fits as a steampunk related uh, theme for a song, that's, that's great, but I, I'm not forcing it. So I'm trying to be a little more open to just whatever ideas come along. Um, the same thing with musical stuff. And also I've been uh, recording covers of songs here and there because sometimes if I don't have an idea for a new song, if there's a song that maybe has inspired me, it's fun to revisit it or, or take it in a new direction and do something different with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did <laughs> Billie Eilish. Yeah, yeah <laughs> did a, a parody of uh, a bad guy taking it and turning it into <laughs> actually being a, like a, a stereotypical old cartoon bad guy. Oh, yeah. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if that's helpful or advice necessarily. I'm just thinking of, yeah, I, it's, always, it's always so hard to, if you, if you like, feel like you have new ideas. Or, and I feel like it's something that everybody faces, too, it, just any creative person. And uh, sometimes the best thing to do is just throw yourself into work. There, there have been times where I had no idea what I was going to do, no idea, but I just sat down and just started playing the guitar, or trying to to work on a, a track on you know in the studio. And uh, sometimes really cool things have come about by accident. That sounds great. Hey, all right. And Josh, thanks to James and Bream, James Springer, uh, Madam Askew, to everyone who's been messaging me and saying how much they were enjoying this and how much. This, and uh, I, I got to tell you, I'm really proud because some people say, How did you get him on there? You know, how'd you get John Sprocket? Um, I'm just going to say it's just a Madam Secret, that's all. So, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, John Sprocket. I really do. Um, just It's just been a pleasure to have you on here, a pleasure to talk with you, and to see you live. And I look forward to everything that you create, uh, to your new streaming show on YouTube. And as soon as it's out, I am going to share it on all of my social media everywhere. And uh, I, I just can't wait. I know it's going to be good, and I want to thank you so much. And thank you. And we yeah, love you. So you. We love everybody. I am delighted to have you here. We love everybody out in steampunk land and all the listeners. Whoosh, water sounds. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, water sounds. Whoosh, whoosh water whoosh. sounds. Whoosh, water sounds. <laughs> whoosh, water sounds. Whoosh, water Yeah. Things. So there you have it. You guys were able to hear everything that happened. There was a little right. bit of comedy in there. <laughs> Listen to that song, the Wash Your Hands uh, song, <laughs> and, and do it uh, with the quarantine stuff and all. Stay safe out there during all this stuff and these rough times. Um, this will remain up on the channel for you guys to watch all over and over again. It's a memory for us, yeah. um, for for fellow entertainers to connect on that level as friends and stuff and to just chat. It was a really cool experience, really unplanned, but we enjoyed it high, very, very much. Uh, and a shout-out here from... Uh, our channel to uh, you guys, uh, the Cog is Dead and Madam Perry. Uh, we wanted to thank you guys so much for having us on there to talking with you guys. Mm -hmm. We're glad to be your friends on social media and stuff. It's awesome. It's great talking to you guys. Uh, hopefully we can meet you guys in the future uh, in person, uh, Dragon Con possibly or some other things like that. Uh, as my PlayStation uh, yeah, did what it... Yeah, as my PlayStation yells at me, I have to go and make more uh, videos and stuff of uh, Resident Evil 3. So, um, I had yeah. I to go lay down in bed and uh, edit. Well, actually, I will still be editing this video, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 
So uh, rock out with your clown out, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening, and see you later. We will see you later. Meow. Later, 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 later.